よろしくお願いします Hi, welcome Osaka. Hajime m a s i t e Ana des, Valencia Cara des, Supenjin des, Nihongo no Kakusei Toshita, Yoro Siku Onegasimas, Arigato Gosaimas. Arigato Gosaimas. Well,、uh, ten years ago I studied Japanese for a few months, and that's basically what I can remember from, from those months. So I apologize if I made any mistake, but I, I hope、uh, more or less it was, it was okay.、Um, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers of the work at Mosaka for giving me this opportunity of being here with all of you, and of course to all of you for, for、uh, um, being here as well for, for my talk. And also, a special thanks to the, to the design team of the World Camp for designing this beautiful cover for, for my talk.、Um, on my talk, I would like to talk to you about how you can introduce offline events on your, on your WordPress business. And these events, I'm going to put a special focus on WordPress events, but you will see that some of the insights I'm going to give to you, you can also apply it to marketing events, to sectorial events, to networking, and to different k i n d of、uh, types of events.、Um, you know that nowadays everything seems to be about internet, about the online world. And don't misunderstand me, it's very important to be present in the,、um, in the, on the internet, to, to do social media, to, to take care of your SEO, to do like paid ads, and everything for your、uh, business. But、uh, we cannot forget about the offline world. We cannot forget about the real people who are there in the,、um, in the events and、uh, just beyond the internet. So, based on my experience, like attending, sponsoring, and organizing、uh, WordPress events and non WordPress events,、um, I'm going to share with you some, some teams, tips that I hope that are going to be useful for your, for your business and for your marketing strategy to get better results.、Um, before starting with the actual content of my presentation, I would like to give you a bit more of information about myself. So, a, few, a couple of years ago, I came here on a holiday trip, and I really fell in love with your country, with your culture, with your people, the way of you do things. And it's when I decided to, to come back here. And I talked to my company, and they gave me the okay to, to be here for, for three months. So, here I am. I'm, I'm super happy to, to have this,、uh, this opportunity of living these this three months here with, with you in Japan. And I, also, I wanted also to leverage this trip to attend to work camps and to meet the, the WordPress community here.、Um, apart from that, I am、um, the head of marketing in Spain for, for Cycron. Cycron is、uh, one of the leading hosting、uh, company providers. And we are,、uh, the company is based in, in Bulgaria, but we have an office in, in Madrid, in Spain. And, and we, we provide like,、uh, WordPress managed hosting,、uh, shared hosting, cloud, and so on. And、uh, different languages English, Italian, and, and Spanish. And we are recommended by WordPress.org. Um, when I joined s i t e g r o u n d、uh, four years ago, it's when I discovered about the WordPress community. And to me, it was very shocking because, you know, I come from a marketing background. And when you go to marketing events, the atmosphere, the environment, it's, it's quite different because of the feeling of the community is different.、Uh, for WordPress, there is actually a real community with real bonds that go beyond of,、uh, doing just business. So, you can really、um, learn from the community, you can contribute, you can make friends, and yes, of course, you can make business as well.、Um, before that, before Cycron, I, I was working at, on MTV in Spain in the marketing department and research. And I was working at Yahoo as well in London for, as well for the marketing department. So, introductions made. Let's start with the, with the content. These are the three key areas I'm going to take you through in,、uh, to, to let you know how you can integrate these WordPress events into your business and marketing strategy.、Uh, the first one is the community value. Then we will talk about the business value of the WordPress events and then how you can participate into them. 
about the community value. Um, I don't know if you have been to, to a WordCamp or a WordPress meetup before, or you are, or this is your first one, but you will see that it's one of the biggest and most active uh, software communities around the globe. So it's a, a very special community, as I mentioned before, and uh, it can allow you to, to grow uh, your business and also to grow in yourself, in knowledge, in mm, meeting people, and, and also in, in meeting your, meeting your, your business objectives. And as the community grows, this will help your business, uh, which is related to WordPress as well, to grow um, in, the same, in the same line. So let's see how we can make it happen. First of all, um, uh, you know that one of the main objectives of the WordPress community is to share knowledge. So when, when you attend to a WordCamp, like this one, you are not going to learn just about WordPress. You are going to learn about marketing, about UX, about SEO, about uh, entrepreneurs, like about develop development. So about so many different areas that you can apply to your business. That, that that's one of the, of the key benefits of, of getting involved in WordPress events. Of course, you can, you can get this knowledge on online resources like um, podcasts, like YouTube videos, um, articles, so many things. But uh, the, the difference between, you know, these online resources and the uh, offline uh, resource like, like a WordCamp is that you can go and talk with a speaker. So you can share with the speaker uh, who is an expert on that topic, uh, your issues, your questions, your doubts, and you can create a real connection with that person, and, I can, and that person can help you with, uh, with your business. You can also do that, you know, posting a comment in a blog, of course, but the connection is not going to be the same. Um, and maybe you can even meet a potential partner like this or a person who can recommend your product. So you see that there is a big uh, benefit on, on, on sharing knowledge and attending a, a WordPress event. Um, the second thing is attracting new members. As you know, one other objective of the WordPress community is to continue growing and continue making the community bigger and stronger. So uh, you know that the, the WordPress uh, ecosystem is made by many different agents. So uh, small and medium businesses, uh, designers, developers, um, also like marketing agencies, uh, bloggers, so many different uh, players that uh, we are benefiting from, from the WordPress uh, CMS. And, uh, and also, you know, like making this community bigger and, grow and um, stronger, it will allow you to, to grow this client base, this potential client base of yours, and these uh, partners, you know, like base as well. About uh, the people who attend the, the WordPress events, you'll see that there are people who, who are uh, beginners and who have just started working with WordPress and uh, starting with uh, his own, their own businesses or their blogs. Um, people who have been in the, in the WordPress world for, for many years. So you see different levels of expertise in these people. So you can, uh, you can see different talks depending on the level as well. And this applies to your business in the sense of, for example, if you have different products, that if you are selling um, like uh, different plans, so depending on the expertise of the user, so from beginners to advanced uh, level, so you can see that you can, um, if you contribute with sharing this knowledge and this knowledge continue increasing, you will be training these users. These beginners will become like advanced users in the future. So you will be able to sell like even um, um, bigger plans to them, like bigger products in terms of with more features, more complex plans, more complex products, which have a higher price. So then your potential benefits will increase as well with this. The second point uh, is the business value 
of uh, attending and participating on, on WordPress events. Here you will see that I, I'm going to give some examples that can be applied also, as I mentioned, to other type of, of, of events. The first one is that it's a, a direct uh, window display of your product. So you can, you can show how your product works, you can uh, show your features, you can explain how they work, which are the benefits for your, for your clients, like current and potential ones. You can also uh, decide to launch a new product here on a WordCamp, for example. You will get a, a lot of uh, social media noise, and you will create your brand image as well with this. So it's a perfect place to, to really show your product. The second part as well is the, um, uh, is the good knowledge of your competitors. So when you go to a WordCamp, you will see if you go around, you will see that there may be some competitors of yours that are also here and are showing their products. So you can see uh, which products they are emphasizing, which features, and also if they are running a game, they are trying to get leads as well to do that remarketing, they are um, um, launching a new ebook, or even they are, you know, they are trying to, to get information about how the status of, of, the, of the market is. Um, but the good thing about about the, the events is that, because you can also do this kind of research similar to on online, is that on events you can go and talk to, to your competitors. And that's something I've seen especially in WordPress events, not in other events. Um, for example, if I, when I've been to marketing events, yes, you can go and talk to your competitors, but uh, it's different. So it's not so easy because people will be like, mm, you know, what do you want to know? You want to get some information from me that is not something I'm, you know, like I don't want to disclose, things like that. But here people are very, very approachable. And even your competitors, you will see that you can hang out with them in the after party. You can go for a coffee with them. So they are very friendly. And it's something that I really value from, from WordPress events and from the community. And that's very different from, from other events. Also, you can meet your clients, like your, your current clients and your potential clients. So, yes, of course, you can also kind of meet them online. You know, when they, they um, tweet uh, on your account, they put a comment on your blog, you know, they send you an email. But in the end, you know, like we are people. So you, uh, it's more than just a tweet or just a comment on a blog. So it's about a real person who's got like real needs and real problems. And, uh, you know, in this era of uh, artificial intelligence, of chatbots and everything, so it's uh, we still value, and I hope we will still value in the future, like uh, the the value of a, a real person on how a person can help you. And if you um, if you have the chance to be an an event and to talk to your clients, that will give you a really valuable insight that you can apply to your products. You can improve your products with this. You can say, oh, so what, what you don't like about my product? So how can I improve it for you? Because in the end, you want to service them. You want to help them with their, with their businesses as well, with their objectives. So uh, this will give you as well a, a better brand image in front of them. Because when people put faces, real faces to the brands, their, their image of the brands change and improves. So they, will, they even can become advocates of, of your brand and recommend you, which is something that is very difficult to, to get uh, online. Um, also, apart from clients, you can meet uh, potential partners. So imagine that you are a designer and you are designing websites, WordPress websites, and you are getting stuck on some, on some code, you know, because you want to learn more about coding and you want to change some type, uh, some things of your website you are creating, you want to improve some things. So WordCamps are a great opportunity to meet uh, developers and to, to create a, a business bounds in that sense that can be beneficial for, for both sides. 
You can also meet uh, influencers. Here um, you will meet some of the brightest minds in the WordPress community, uh, people that are very knowledgeable about WordPress and how it can be beneficial for your business or for your personal project. And, um, and I really recommend you to go and say hi to them and approach them because it's going to be a, a really good experience for you. Mm. Um, so, so I really encourage you to do that because the experts you are going to be able to meet here and uh, uh, the key takeaways you can take to apply it to your business are going to be something that you can you cannot really find them online. <coughs> you can also meet like even potential employees. So in WordCamp Tokyo, I was there with a, with a booth, and, um, and, and one person came to me saying that he introduced himself, and he talked to me about my company and, and how he liked my company, and I was really, really and very happy uh, that he wanted to work with us. <clears throat> because that means that you are doing something great. If, if people come to you and say, hey, I want to be part of your project, of your mission, and of your vision, it means that you are in the right way. And also, you know, this, this is very easy to happen, not just in WordPress events, but in other kind of events as well. So how to participate? Um, all these things can be achieved on different levels, depending on how you take part in, in WordPress events. The first uh, way of, uh, of taking part is just attending. It's the easiest way, and you just need to, to know when the WordCamp is going to happen. <coughs> it's it's going to happen. And um, buy the ticket and go to the WordCamp. I recommend you that before the WordCamp, you do some research about the people who are going to attend and also about the speakers. Because then you can go to the WordCamp and, um, and kind of target the people you, you want to talk about and to, to, to do business and to get information and to, to exchange information and do networking. So, but I, I also recommend you that if you can create a T-shirt with your, with your logo and just go around, visit the booths, talk to people, and especially, like, <coughs> sorry, do a lot of networking, not just passively, uh, but also active, actively. Talk about your project, talk about your, your business, uh, exchange opinions, like give as much information about your, your business because, and also listen to the other person because you will see that you can uh, leave the work out with many great ideas that you can apply to your project. <coughs> Sorry. One step further on this is volunteering. So if uh, this, this is true, it's only applicable to WordPress events because, for example, marketing events or networking events are usually organized by an organization or institution, so you cannot really volunteer on those as far as, uh, as I know, as the ones I've, I've been involved. Um, but in WordPress events, yes. So you can go and, and say, yes, I want to help you guys with, with, uh, with the WordCamp. Uh, how can I do it? And then the bonds that you are going to create by doing this are much more stronger than, than just attending and just talking to people. Also, um, depending on, uh, on your budget, because this is also about budget, uh, you can uh, sponsor a WordPress event. So there are different levels of sponsorship, and uh, I, I recommend to, to go with a booth to a WordCamp because it will be like your meeting point to, to get to know your clients, your partners, your influencers, potential influencers, your potential affiliates. And, um, and also you can, you can show your product, as I mentioned before, and, and also, you know, you can, for example, you can run a game or do a raffle and it will attract a lot of people. So you can get leads as well, and you can do remarketing afterwards to, to still like keeping this connection with them. And, and also, it will create a very positive image, and it will have a, a bigger impact to your, to your audience. 
I am plus, uh, and this is very important as well, you will be contributing uh, with some funds to the, to the work camp because, as you know, uh, all of this is made by volunteers and there is a part that needs, like, it costs, costs money, like the t-shirts, the materials, the catering. So this will be a way also for you to be contributing to the, to the work camp. Um, organizing. I'm afraid I have no experience on organizing a WordPress event, like a work, a work camp, but I've been organizing a marketing event for four years now. And, uh, and this is like the ultimate branding experience because it's when you decide what's going to be the topic of your event, uh, who are going to be the attendees, who are going to be the speakers, um, what objectives you have, what's going to be the location. So you have in control of everything. So, for example, with uh, this marketing event in the last edition, we wanted to, to reach the marketing agencies. So it was like we have a, we created a list of the attendees that we, we were aiming for, although the, the tickets were open so more people could come. And also we selected the speakers, like taking into account the, their main uh, uh, expertise, like the topics. So, for example, to attract like marketing agencies, if you talk about SEO, about e-commerce, about email marketing, social media, and so on, so it, that, those will be the topics that attract them, so you will be able to get them to your event. And also you can say, uh, oh, I would like to, to reach to this influencer uh, who is very knowledgeable on SEO, for example, and I don't know how to do it. I've been sending emails to him, you know, but no reply and so on. But if you tell him, hey, I would like to invite you to give a talk in this marketing event, you can talk about SEO and so on. And uh, so this influencer will be like, more interested in, and it will be easier for you to, to get him on board to, with your project. Also, you can, you can position yourself as a, as a kind of an expert on those areas in a way, because if you are attracting those experts, it means that you are learning from them as well. So you want to share this, uh, these learnings with uh, your, your clients, with your non-clients, and also you want to apply them to your, to your product and to your company. Um, and also, you know, one of the most important things when you are creating an event is the networking. Because people, um, one of the main objectives is uh, when they go to an event is to do networking, a lot of networking. And, and that's something that people really value. And if you, I really recommend you to potential, potential um, that on, on your event, if you do that. But I don't want you to think that uh, it's just about having a huge budget, about having a huge venue and so on, so it costs a lot of money to do your own, uh, your own uh, event. It's not like that, because you can also do, you know, like in a meetup format. Imagine that you are a designer, uh, again, and you, want, you are designing websites for small and medium businesses. So, and you know, these businesses are interested in... Uh, in uh, email marketing, for example, you know, so or in in, in digital uh, marketing as well. So you can create a meetup based on that, and then it will be like the great uh, meeting point for you to meet these potential clients or actual clients, and and you know that doesn't cost like a huge amount of money. So it's something that that you can really do. So I. I hope all these insights from my experience have been useful for all of you, and I hope that you can apply them and you can introduce WordPress events and also non-WordPress events, marketing, networking, uh, vertical uh, fairs, and so on, to your business and to your marketing strategy and get better results for, for your business. Arigato gozaimasu. If you have any question, I'm here. Thank you. That's all right. Yeah. Thank you. Since we have a uh, several time left, so if you have any question, please raise your hands. Do you have any questions? Please show your hands. She will take you the mic. 
ഹലോനാസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്മീസ്
that are sponsoring work camps, usually they they are in the position of giving uh, of having like higher sponsorship packages and also booths there. And also we have like even universities that are sponsoring the work camps. Uh, also local businesses. Uh, I've I've seen even like um, um, a glasses shop sponsoring a. a, a uh, a WordPress meetup, it was in that case, not a WordCamp, but you'll see that there are many even local businesses, maybe like food businesses, like uh, beer companies, like um, uh, the catering as well. Maybe you can get an agreement with the catering, you know, if you can give them a position like brand exposure in, uh, in exchange of the food, or maybe you can get a discount in that sense, you know, so the catering cost is not that high. Um, also, you will see themes, plugins, um, and those are the main the main ones. Yes, but all I, apart from the obvious ones, which are yes, themes, plugins, and hosting providers, I recommend you also to to spread the word about the local businesses there, because they may also be like interested or, or be present there. Thank you very much. So next person. I'm going to give you a microphone. Thank you. I'm going to speak in Japanese. I assume you yourself have established some events or set up some events. I would like to know your experience. There are three questions. First, when it comes to community, I think hosting event is very important. However, other than that, what kind of activities should we you know, think about doing? And second question is that when it comes to doing event, I think uh, there are so many work but how frequently do you think we should have this kind of events? And third question is that if we do host an event and invite someone, do you think it should be free of charge or paid event? And please tell me why you think so. If, I, if you don't mind, <laughs> let's go one by one because <laughs> there are like many questions. So the first one, Sumimasen. <laughs> so the first one, was about um, how so other than events what should we do in order to you know enhance community so uh, what I've seen in Spain is that uh, it's uh, also a lot about the, the local culture so in Spain we like gathering hanging out like going for a drink mm -hmm. you know it's not just about um, it has it has a, uh, it doesn't have to be about uh, talking about WordPress, you know. Mm -hmm. So of course WordPress has to be present because that's the main key point and, mm -hmm. and the bond. But it's about um, conveying that with the community you will be able to meet great people that can help mm -hmm. you with uh, your project, mm -hmm. but can also be become your friends. So I've met many people that they are new in a region, for example, in Spain or even in another country, and they go to a WordPress meetup to meet friends. Mm. You know, it's not just about um, WordPress. Uh, and what I've seen as well is that um, apart from uh, meetups mm. and apart from WordCamps, you can, uh, a few months ago in Spain, there was like kind of a WordPress event with families. So they went to the countryside for one day, and, uh, you know, they were talks as well, but they were kind of uh, in a, like, light talks, like not, uh, not in a venue or anything like that. Imagine that you just go to, uh, to, to the woods, and there is, like, a picnic space, and, and then you gather there with your family mm -hmm. and with your uh, friends from the WordPress community, and then somebody uh, gives some, like, a fast talk, like, 15 minutes talk, something like that, about a topic, another person, another topic. And then you just get together. And also I've seen that it's very important to involve families because um, sometimes, you know, contributing to the community can take a lot of time and even a lot of personal time. 
So if you can involve your family as well, you will be able to share this uh, experience with, with them as well. Um, also, you can do like, like um, you know, like the translator days as well. This, those are quite popular in Spain as well. Um, but it's basically about just combining like some knowledge about WordPress that they can take away and also some fun. So having fun with, with the people and some creating bonds and, and making networking with them. But you know, the, this, this example I gave you about the countryside is, is one of the latest and for me it was a very good idea to combine everything. Thank you. Second question. So my qu second question is, so in such an event, I think I was quite impressed about what you have just talked. So frequency, would it be once a month or once a year is enough? What do you think? So it depends. So for example, if you are um, organizing an event like the marketing one I talk about, uh, it's a huge event. So then it's, uh, for me it's once a year mm. because it involves like months of work of doing that. If you are just organizing like um, a meetup, mm. it depends on your connection as well because you, you need to have a speaker to, mm. to, you know, to make them the, the meetup. Mm. Uh, so if you have many connections or if you have a, a good list of speakers, then maybe it's easier for you to do it once a month. Mm. For a meetup, I recommend once a month. And also, mm. you know, like uh, the same week on the, on the same day. For example, the third uh, Thursday mm. of the third week, you know? So people oh. have like a, a date on the calendar. And they know that on the, mm. uh, on the mm. Thursday of the third week, mm. they, they have your meetup. Um, on work camps, it depends as well. But for example, in Spain, mm. this year we had around 10 work camps. And next year, we're expecting to have more. Actually, next year, we are expecting mm. to have at least one work camp per month. Mm -hmm. so, so it really depends on, on the event you want, you want to, to attend, to sponsor, to, to organize, so depending mm. on, on that. But it's true that it, it, it has to, to be quite frequent if it's like a meetup, for example, because otherwise you will lose the people. You, will, uh, you want mm. to engage people to always attend to your to your meetup uh, because there are so many meetups and and you know um, we are we all are very busy with work with family with uh, personal things so so it's important that you create that date with with people at least uh, once a month I think it will be it will be fine. Mm. My third question. Finally. So the meeting would be free of charge and an event should be paid event or do you think it should be also free of charge? Do you have any opinion? So for example, for this marketing event I told you, uh, I organized, at the beginning it was free. And now uh, we have established a, a, a fee and part of this fee goes to an NGO. So you can do as well some charity work, you know. But it also depends of your of your budget because maybe you need all this money to cover the expenses of the event. So it depends. But if you can do, you can keep some part for a charity, then it would be it would be great. Um, but um, I've seen as well that if you give a, a ticket for free, completely for free, at least in, in in Spain, in my experience, and in England as well, in other in other countries I've worked uh, with on, um, people don't value. Because people don't value free things. Because, you know, even, even though you think there is a value, because you are aware that there is a value for that, you think, oh, it's for free. So, so you, don't, you don't think that it's, uh, you know, if, if in the end you, can, you cannot really attend, maybe you cannot even say, uh, sorry, I cannot attend. You just don't show up. And then people who are organizing the event are just there with pretty much no one. And, and it's a lot of effort. So I think it's good to put a price. It's true that with meetups, you're not going to put a price because it's a meetup. So with a work camp, yes, um, it's different. 
But I've seen that, for example, in the in the meetup, in the WordPress meetup in Madrid, it happened several times that uh, they organized it, and um, many many people didn't show up. You know, and it was it's a very big. It's a, it happens in Google Campus, so it's a big room that can fit in like 100, 150 people, and it was pretty much empty. And then the organizers decided to write a blog post saying, look, this is not right. So it's an effort that everyone is putting into it. We are doing it for free and because we believe on it. So at least we deserve some respect. Uh, if, if you cannot attend, we understand, but at least let us know. So it's important that you, you convey this value to people in, in case you are doing it uh, with no, like for free. Thank you. I learned a lot from you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any others? So the person in front. Maybe this will be the last question uh, due to time. So it's not really a question, but to supplement what press event uh, managed by volunteers. This is principle. So even if we have revenue, we will donate. So that's, and also like we have to pay some expenses for venue or something that's really necessary. And there's an organization called World Place Foundation where we can donate to. So if you have any revenue, please try to donate to them. Thank you. Okay, I hope you will contribute more and more going forward.